Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Crazy Mix. Today we will discuss about the intracellular accumulation. Intracellular accumulation is one of the manifestations of metabolic derangement in cells of that may be harmless or associated with varying degrees of injury. There are four main pathways of abnormal intracellular accumulation such as abnormal metabolism, defect in protein folding and transport, lack of enzyme, ingestion of indigested material. The major substances that accumulate in cells are lipids, proteins, glycogen and pigments. All major classes of lipids can accumulate in cells which includes triglycerides, cholesterol, cholesterol esters and phospholipids. Steatosis The abnormal accumulation of triglycerides within parenchymal cells most commonly in liver, heart, muscle and kidney. The causes of steatosis includes toxin, protein malnutrition, diabetes and anoxia. Cholesterol and cholesterol esters Most cells use cholesterol and cholesterol esters for the synthesis of cell membrane without intracellular accumulation of this substance. Accumulation of cholesterol by intracellular vacuoles are seen in several pathological processes which includes atherosclerosis, deposition of lipid vacuoles most of which are cholesterol and cholesterol esters in smooth muscle, iota and large arteries forming atherosclerotic plaque. The extracellular cholesterol esters may crystallize in the shape of long nodules producing cleft in tissue sections. Xanthomas Accumulation of cholesterol within macrophages are found in the connective tissue, tendon and skin producing tumor masses known as xanthoma. It is also a characteristic of acquired and hereditary hyperlipidemic state. Neiman pick disease type C this is a lysosomal storage disorder caused by mutation affecting an enzyme involved in cholesterol trafficking that results cholesterol accumulation in multiple organs. The major cause of protein accumulation are renal disease, defective intracellular transport and secretion, accumulation of cytoskeletal proteins, aggregation of abnormal proteins as in amyloidosis. In renal disease, the reabsorption droplets is most commonly seen in endoplasmic reticulum of proximal renal tubules are usually distended producing large homogeneous eosinophilic inclusion called russell bodies defective intracellular transport is most commonly seen in enzyme deficiency there are several types of cytoskeletal proteins including microtubules thin actin filaments thick myosin filaments and intermediate filaments which includes keratin neurofilaments Vementin and lyel filaments. Intracellular accumulation of proteins usually appear as rounded isnoflic droplets, vacuoles, or aggregates in the cytoplasm. Glycogen. Excessive intracellular accumulation of glycogen is seen in patients with abnormality in either glucose, as in diabetes mellitus, or glycogen metabolism due to enzymatic defect in either synthesis or breakdown of glycogen. Pigments can either be a exogenous substance or endogenous substance. The most common exogenous pigments are carbon dust. It is a serious cause of coal workers pneumoconosis. The accumulation of these pigments blacken the tissues of the lung called anthracosis. The tattooing is a form of localized exogenous pigmentation of skin. The endogenous pigments are lipofusin. It is a yellow brown pigment it is most commonly seen in severe malnutrition and cancer patient. Melanin, a brown black pigment, homogenic acid that occurs in patient with alkaptonuria, a rare metabolic disease. The accumulation of this pigment is known as uchronosis. Hemosiderin, a iron containing granules is produced when there is a systemic overload of iron. The accumulation of hemosiderin in organs and tissues called hemosiderosis. Thanks everyone. Like, share, comment and subscribe my channel.